Hi everybody, welcome to the first ever 3 Minute Coach. Excited to get the chance to answer some of your questions and to actually make a difference in some real life problems. That's the reason why I do this. I mean, don't wait for 3 Minute Coach. If you've got something you wanna ask me, please do. I'll answer it from wherever I am. This week I'm actually back from Salt Lake and I'm actually here in San Diego. But um, kind of the first question I wanna tackle. Got an email from a woman named Sheila in Michigan who basically said, um, Michael, I would, I would love to hear your feedback on something um, it's regarding my boss. Um, He's very competitive. He's extremely competitive, especially in cycling as an example. He thinks about it often. He arranges his schedule around the sport, places in the top 10%, consistently loves the sport, pushes himself to excel at it. He's kind of this way about everything in the office. However, when he took the Strengths Finder, the Strengths Finder talent of competition ended up 33rd in his profile. Why not in his top five or 10? How is it possible that he's this competitive and this driven, but competition doesn't show up? So I actually reached back out, they sent me their top five. Her boss's top five included belief, harmony, maximizer, input, and consistency. So belief, harmony, maximizer, input, and consistency. And so my response to Sheila was, maximizer is the answer. What's really interesting is that many people will take and judge strengths finder things specifically based on an output. So what's, you know, I call them, call them like cousins or looks like themes. So for example, competition is a theme that's driven by comparison. They naturally are driven to be their best in comparison to a benchmark. They like to win against other competitors. They like to race against other people racing who are at their best. Maximizer also likes competing. They like pushing themselves. But what's really interesting is they push themselves against a standard or a bar. Competition might never win a championship but they might win against their nearest competitor. What's interesting is, is that they're both driven. So judging based on the output, you're gonna get a person who looks like they have competition. But see, what's interesting, if we push to really understand strengths finder themes, we start to get a picture of what motivates. What's the motivation behind their behavior? And so even in this profile, belief, harmony, maximizer, input consistency. Belief is gonna be core values, really driven. Belief with consistency means they're driven to produce a specific standard. Consistency is actually about high levels of customer service. And so Maximizer, high personal standards, really driven to achieve so they are recognized as being the best and the best in the area. You take Maximizer, consistency, and belief, you've got someone very driven who not only believes in performing to high standards, they believe in doing that over and over and over again. Sure, he's not necessarily chasing some other outside force. Competition is usually comparing themselves against an external competitor. This boss is comparing themselves to their own standards. So if you're working for them, the more you can appeal to, this will help us achieve our goals. This will help us be the best. This will make us the best in the industry, not just against one competitor, the more that person's likely to get on board. And that's why you can be a quote unquote competitor and still have competition in the bottom of your 34. What's your problem? Not necessarily strengths finder based, but anything. I'm happy to tackle it right here on 3 Minute Coach. Until next time, lead courageously.